Now, something that we have already established is that Copilot is built upon large language models that are connected to your Microsoft 365 applications and data. So with Copilot, you can definitely go beyond what you can do with LLMs powered chatbots by getting data from Microsoft 365 apps and your internal data, such as articles, reports, emails, presentations, and more. So with Copilot, you can definitely create or edit content, ask questions, summarize information, and catch up on things. Now, the question is, how do you do that? So there is something called as Copilot prompts. All right. And we are going to discuss the same thing in this particular video. My name is Paresh and you're watching 365 Pros. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I recommend that you do. And you also hit the bell icon so that you get notifications of my upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and have a look. So Microsoft 365 Copilot utilizes prompts, which are nothing but directives or inquiries that guide it in fulfilling your request. Now, these prompts can be broken down into four components. They are objective, the context, the expectations, and the source. All right. So here on your screen, you can see that I have an example of a particular prompt, which says, I want a list of three to five bullet points to prepare me for an upcoming meeting with some client, focusing on their current state and what they are looking to achieve. Respond with a tone that is friendly but authoritative and focus on email and Teams chat with some people over the last two weeks. All right. So it is elaborative. So let's just see what are those four parts that you can utilize or consider as a template while you are using prompts in Copilot. All right. So let's just break this down. So first part is the goal. And what is the goal? Over here, we are defining the goal as what do you want from the Copilot? OK, and the, the part that is highlighted over here is that I want a list of three to five bullet points to prepare. OK, so the copilot knows that this is your goal. All right. It's just like how you will be talking to a human being. All right. When you're clear and you're elaborative as well. The second part is the context. OK, why do you need it and who is involved? So over here, we are saying that for an upcoming meeting with a client, focusing on their current state and what they are looking to achieve. So this is the context, all right? This is the second part. The third part of the prompt is expectations. How should Copilot respond to, be, to best fulfill your request? So over here, the expectation is respond with a tone that is friendly but authoritative. So whatever response you get, you want it to be, you know, uh, the tone of that to be friendly and authoritative. And the fourth part is the source. All right. So you need to define what information or samples do you want Copilot to use. So over here, the example is and focus on email and Teams chat, very particular email and Teams chat with particular people, you can include people names over the last two weeks. That is also very definitive. So I only want the team chat and the email from, from last two weeks. All right. So this whole prompt is a combination of these four parts, the goal, the context, the expectations, and the source. So if you keep this in mind and try to, uh, you know, put your prompts accordingly, you can obviously modify your prompts in this manner but if you can keep this in mind and build your prompts you will get much better results so in a summary the only essential element is actually well-defined objective however you can include additional details to be much more specific for your outcome all right so over here we are in our copilot for microsoft 365 and just for an example we'll use uh, one particular prompt where we'll say, okay, write a summary based on all emails from Paresh in the past two weeks, okay? So we have an objective and we have a source. So objective is that I want a summary based on all the emails uh, from Paresh and the source is that obviously it's going to look into my emails and can, you know, read the context and then start um, uh, writing the summary as you can see over here. So based on this prompt, you can see a particular result that has come up. And this particular prompt, as I said, only contains um, an objective and the source. All right, nothing more to it. And obviously, we gradually we can keep adding to it. Now let's take a look at another example. And in this example, 
we will be a little more elaborative. Over here, we are saying, well, draft an outline of a training manual about time management. All right. So we have uh, an objective and a context. Our audience is the professionals who work in hybrid environment and constantly need to attend virtual meetings and meeting deadlines. Now, the tone of the document will be friendly and suggestive. All right. So we have all the four components that are required or the template that I was uh, talking about. Right. So it's much more elaborative. Now, let's just see what kind of results that we get. All right, so based on a prompt, you can see Copilot has come up with a detailed list with around, you know, with introduction and with eight chapters, um, with conclusions and appendices, and um, at the end with a summary. All right, so the more elaborative your prompts are, the more better results uh, you will get. However, you need to note one particular thing, and that is this particular thing AI generated content may be incorrect, okay? So don't trust everything. Whenever you have an output, review it and then process it further. Now there can be situations where you just, just don't stop over here. You can just follow up on the questions. Some of the follow-ups will be, you know, will be some suggestions that Copilot will provide from your end. But then again, you can also go ahead and uh, create your own prompts over here, all right? So over here, I can do um, a follow-up, let's say I want to edit this article, I want to change the chapter 8 title. So I can say, could you change the title of chapter 8 to continuous changes instead of continuous improvement? And then, you know, a copilot will read the context and do the changes accordingly based on your prompt. So you can have a main prompt and then keep following on various other prompts as well. Okay, and here you can see that it has already changed the title of the chapter eight to continuous changes. So we can do the edit as well. So typically you will refine the results with subsequent prompts and displaying some iterative dialogues to reach the desired outcome, as we saw in our short example, okay? Now, Copilot is powered by large language models, uh, that is LLMs, and is integrated with your Microsoft 365 applications and data. Now this integration allows Copilot to surpass the capabilities of any other LLM-based chatbots by leveraging data from Microsoft 365 apps and your internal resources such as articles, reports, email, presentations, and more. Now with Copilot, you can create or edit content, you can post questions, you can summarize information and stay updated on various matters. So the question is, what can I get done with Copilot prompts? There, every prompt that you write most probably would be ending up in these particular categories, which is catch up, create, ask, and edit. All right. So let's just see some examples. So for example, in catch up, some questions could be, uh, what questions were asked during the meeting? All right. Or what ideas were presented, especially when you are using Copilot in Teams? then something in create could look like, like this. Create a short presentations about time management or write an email to congratulate the project lead and team on the launch, especially when you're using Copilot uh, with Microsoft Word or with Outlook. Then it can fall under the category, category of asking. So give me ideas for a, let's say, three-day trip to Hawaii or give me ideas for a team building activity. All right, especially when you're using Copilot for Microsoft 365 apps on the web. And um, the fourth could be edit. So let's say when you're working with uh, Copilot for Microsoft Word, you could say rewrite with Copilot. You can use that function. Or especially if you're working with Copilot for PowerPoint, you can say add an image of a target with particular arrows or something. All right. However, with enterprise license users, there is much more advanced functionality. So you can use um, prompts like, you know, create a training course outline to onboard partners to Project X. What is the latest uh, from Sam? It can go through your email and give you a summary. Or, you know, generate a project kickoff presentation based on topics discussed in that chat. So it also depends upon your license, what kind of prompts, um, not, not about what kind of prompts you can use, but what kind of prompts Copilot can process because with enterprise license users, you know, it is much more integrated with your Microsoft 365 apps. It can churn the data, read the context and give you the output. 
Now, if you want to learn more about Copilot prompts, uh, then there is something called as Copilot Labs. I've given the link in the description below. It has a lot of example prompts that you can um, edit to make your own. All right. So you can go into Copilot Labs, see various examples, use them as a template, and try it out for yourself. I hope you like this video and you understood the concept of Copilot prompts. For the upcoming videos, we will dive deep into the practicality. That means how to use the Copilot itself. All right, it is going to be much more fun. So keep watching and stay tuned. Bye for now.